our main, our first instinct uh, when COVID hit New York City was to start sending food to hospitals. Um, we have a number of Northern Chinese slash Chinese home cooking style restaurants that are um, so happy to be able to produce a large amount of food. Um, and we are very determined to do everything we can. We were very determined to do everything we could to um, keep our doors open so that our employees could continue to be paid. Um, so we set up programs with hospitals throughout New York to send them food in a way that was, uh, that was COVID safe, that was uh, done in a procedure that was approved by a hospital. Uh, we wanted that food to be nutritious. Um, and one of, I remember once we were delivering food to a hospital in the Bronx and uh, these uh, black and brown sort of nurses were standing at the door waiting for our little Subaru to pull up with 200 meals or whatever it was. And uh, they, they were running towards the car and they were, we have been looking forward to eating lion's head meatballs uh, and firecracker chicken all week. And I was just, I had this moment of like, awe because it, it took us so long um, to convince people that, you know, Chinese food is not just sweet and sour chicken. You know, there's like all these other types of regional home cooking. Um, and here we are in the middle of COVID and people who didn't grow up with this stuff, people who probably didn't know that Lions and Meatballs was made with, from pork from the first place, were excited to eat this stuff because it fueled their fight against COVID.